Hello friends, Misha Crossing here with a new episode of Animal Crossing New Leaf. We're on day five, I do believe, and today a new resident has moved into town just right in front of my house. How very fortunate, but we will welcome her with a warm smile and open arms anyways, regardless of where she chose to place her house. <laughs> Look how cute she is. I love her so much already. Oh, do you live here in town? I'm Pico. I really need to learn how to pronounce name. Peco. I'm going to say Peco. Pico? Peco. Peco. I don't know. As you can see, I just moved in. I'm still unpacking. I wrote down the contents of each box, but can't seem to find my notes anywhere. What a pity. I'll just have to plow through it all. Let's plan on taking... Taking? Talking again after I get settled in, okay? Alrighty. Little cutie pie. Let's go see what else the day has to offer. I do need to work on my development permit today. Um, the only thing I did <clears throat> off camera that would have furthered my development permit um, happenings uh, was to do a little favor for Olivia. She asked for a new piece of furniture to replace her regal lamp, so I gave her an exotic end table that I just happened to have on me. And so that probably, oops, gave me some points. Let me pick this weed here. Now I'm going to go talk to Isabel and see how much more, um, how many more points I need in order to be mayor, finally, and actually do things. See what Sylvia's doing. Well, well, if it isn't Misha. So anyway, did you need something? When there aren't any big festivals coming up, you get to focus on your hobbies. It's like, uh, what's it called? Keeping your work and your play separate from each other? Of course, festivals count as play too, I guess. That's some, some wisdom. Wisdom from Sylvia. Let's dig up whatever is right here. Probably a fossil. Yep. We haven't had any rain, so there shouldn't be any gyroids. Little Miss Olivia. She was- this is the exact place she was yesterday. It's been pleasant today, hasn't it? So what did you want? Well, I bet you can help me with a serious problem. A package was delivered to my house, but it's not mine! It was supposed to be delivered to Sylvia. I can't keep it. Everyone will say I took it from Sylvia's mailbox. You know how people talk. Will you please return it for me, Misha? Of course I will. Mostly because Sylvia is literally five seconds away. <laughs> before the end of the day. Listen, I got you. I'll deliver it in the next two minutes. If I can remember where Sylvia was. Ooh, a weed. There we go. She was somewhere over here. Right down here? Down here? No. <laughs> there we go. Yo, Misha, it's dark out. It is not dark out. I don't know what you're talking about. Delivery time! What could it ever be? Look at her little... Her little baby. Package delivered to Olivia's place. But hey, what's inside anyway? A shirt! A grass tee! Now I remember. Thanks for making the delivery. It's not much, but please take this. What is it? 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 Oh, a sandbag. Hope you like it. Thank you so much. I am honored. Is this a but this is a butterfly I don't have yet. Come here. Come here. Oh, no. Come, come here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am the worst. There we go. I caught a tiger butterfly. Looks like I pounced first. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Get it? Because, like, tigers pounce on things. It's funny. Oh, I keep doing- <laughs> no. I keep hitting my villagers with the net. I'm just gonna put the net away. <laughs> oh, hello again. Yes, I delivered your package for you. Yes, my dad, yes I did. What does Sylvia say? Should I- I never know what this does. Um, if telling them the story does something, or- I'm just gonna say I don't remember. Seriously? But I really wanted to know how it turned out. Oh, so nothing happens. Oh well. <clears throat> I guess I got a, a sandbag out of it, so that's something. <laughs> Let's go see how many more points I need to get the citizens on my side. 
development permit, please. Yes, I want to know. Oh! 94%! Cool. So close. Send a message. Oh yeah, I haven't posted on the bulletin board yet. I will go post on Kodama's bulletin board. I'm not sure how many percentage points that gets me. I feel like it gets me five percentage points, maybe. But hey, then I just need to like pick a weed or water flower. Oh, perfect apple tree coming along in our little orange tree. Just starting out. So, bulletin board. What what eloquent greeting for the townsfolk of Kodama should I write? Let's see. That sounds about right. Yo nerds. Misha. Cool. I like it. Short, sweet, to the point. Okay. Let's see what else there is. Let's dig this up. More fossils for my museum. I don't know if it's everything you donate to the museum you get some points, or just the first time you donate something. I'm not sure. What if sending a letter gives me points? <clears throat> I'll send a letter. Just to see. I'll write one to... Um, Olivia and I have been pretty friendly. I'll send one to here. Um, thought of you when I mm, found this. Boop, boop, boop. XO, XO. All right. Wait. Thought of you. I hate how it does that. It like separates the letters out. Okay, that's done. And I'm going to give her a seashell. And once I make my way up to Main Street, well, I better go ahead and send it. And then I'll see if it gave me any points and maybe I finished my development permit. Oh, Digby, so cute standing up there. Always at his station. Always ready. Oh, hello, Miss Pelly. Welcome to the Kodama Post Office. What can I help you with today? I'd like to send some mail. Please, thank you. <clears throat> I'd like to send it to a person in Kodama. Okie dokie. This is the one letter I want to send. To my BFF, Olivia. Alright, I'll send this mail off at once. Thanks for choosing the Kodama Post Office. You're welcome. How much money do I have? Should I pay off my loan? No, I should not. I don't have that much money. Do have some things to go sell, though. Let's go check in Nookling Junction, see what's going on, see if they got anything nice. Oh, they got a ranch dresser. That's one of my favorite things. Ranch dresser. Oh, it's so expensive. No, thank you. I might come back later and get it with, uh, <laughs> if I get some money. Yeah, I'll probably spend a little bit of time off camera making some, making some money for myself. Donating some things to the museum, etc, etc. Um... Let's go get a new shirt. I need a new shirt. I'm not really feeling this jacket. <clears throat> and we just need to introduce ourselves to the Able Sisters anyways. Hello, welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of the Able Sisters. Are you by any chance the new mayor everyone's talking about? Everyone around town's been buzzing about you, so you're quite easy to recognize. As you can see, our store mostly specializes in handmade clothes. If you'd like accessories, please look in the accessories shop that's right next door. Thank you, Mabel. And we, of course, need to talk to Sable. I just can't let my claws stray away from all this work. I'm sorry. I have to talk to her every day so that I can unlock the uh, sewing machine that's right there. And I really like the silk balloon tea. I will take it. It is the first time I've got clothes here. <clears throat> I have new items every day, so please come back again soon. I will try to. I don't like anything else she has. And that's the silk balloon tea. There we go. I'm looking a little bit more in season. Let's go greet Label as well. So high fashion, look at her. We deal in hats and accessories in this department of the store. Thank you very much. Don't have anything, but I'm loving, I don't think. 
That's all right. I'll be back. Let's go check in with Isabel, see if the development permit is ready yet. I think I'm going to turn my brightness up a little bit. Sorry if it was a little, a little dim. All right, Isabel, tell me what's up. Okay. Let's see. Are we at 100%? Are we at 100%? Yes, I want to know what my percentage is at. Yes. Oh, 97%. Okay. And pull up any weeds around town. Okay. Um, let me get more of her advice for living around town. I think she might give me a watering can so I can water some flowers. Yes, advice for living here, please. That reminds me, so to teach you how to plant trees. Well, you I already know how to do that. I just select the fruit I want to do and bury it and then trees will grow. Can't bury them in the shadow of a building, can't place them right next to other trees, etc, etc. Plenty of space to grow. What else you got for me? Hit me with it, hit me with it. Can bury things, also dig up things. Yes. I already know how. I've been digging up all the things. Don't you worry. Some things people do for fun in our town. A lot of natural resources, different fish and bugs. So many people who've made fishing or bug catching their hobby. More than a hobby, everyone around here makes a lot of money catching fish and bugs. <laughs> you can find fishing rods. Yes, and I already got a fishing rod. Don't worry. Both fishing and bug catching this season. Oh, I'll try fishing. It's the easiest thing. Okay, I'll use this as an opportunity to make my fishing debut. Yes, the encyclopedias where all the different fish are, or fish and bugs are recorded. So get a fishing rod and catch at least three different kinds of fish, then show me your encyclopedia. If you're finding it difficult to get your hands on a fishing rod, come back and let me know. For now, good luck. Alrighty. I've already caught one fish. So I just need to catch two more kinds of fish. And I'll be ready to go. To please Miss Isabel. But first, we need to find a fish. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, there's a fishy. I don't think that I. Nope. Let's go over here, go over there. Gotta get that angle right. Oh, it's hot. <gasps> nice. First try, got a bite. And it's a new fish! Yay! A crucian carp. What a crucial catch! <laughs> so, yeah, I will show you the encyclopedia. That button there just shows all the different bugs and fish I've caught. It shows the season um, that they're available in, the time of day, and the size of the biggest one I've caught. Um, which, the size of them does not matter except for in, um, there will be bug catching and fish catching contests, um, as events throughout the game that whoever catches the biggest one gets the first prize, but it's not really that big of a deal other than that. But it's nice to know. Oh, hey Peck, what's up? Oh, you're very excited. I gotta love this weather. Perfect training conditions, Crunch. So what's up, lady bro? I'm absolutely obsessed with river fish these days. That reminds me, if you catch a fish from the river, bring it to me. I want to add it to my collection. Sound good? Okay, I can do that. I'm already fishing. That's what I'm talking about. I'm counting on you, Crunch. But I'm not going to give him the first fish of anything that I've caught. You know, I'm not going to give him something I should be donating to the museum. So if I catch a duplicate, that is what I will give him. Okay, fishy, fishy. There's another fishy. What are you? I hope you're something. Even if you are something I have caught, that's okay. You can go to peck. Oh gosh, why did I do that? I don't know why I did it. I hate doing that. Didn't even look like it bobbed, but I did it anyways. Just need to concentrate. One, two. Nice. 
What are you? You should be new. Yes, you are new. Good. A dace. Wrong place, Mr. Dace. Ha ha ha. I want to be the person that writes all the puns for Animal Crossing fish and bugs. Oh, what's this gonna be? Is it gonna be a new one? Or is it gonna be a dace too? Let's see. One, two, come on, three. Oh, a barbel steed. It just needs a barbel saddle. Ha ha ha. So, I don't want to give that one to Peck because it's a new one. I want to give it to the museum. Maybe this one will be something I've caught before for Peck. Um, come on, you got it. Yes. Sorry, I don't want to talk while I'm waiting to hear the plop, otherwise I get distracted. There we go. Another barbel steed. I'll give that one to Peck. Alright, so let's go find Peck or find Isabel. Whoever whoever we get to first. Oh, there's Peck. Give him his fish. What's up, lady bro? I brought you a fish, sir. Have this barbel steed. Only the very best. Wow, a barbel steed. Thanks. Haha, <laughs> here's a token of my appreciation. What is it? Is it something cute? Probably not. A green gym tea. Yep, it's not cute. That's okay. Thank you so much, Misha. You better believe I'm coming to you next time too, Crunch. But I guess that's nice. I bet that's something that, you know, he works out a lot, so people, he knows stuff about gym wear. So I bet it's a nice, a nice shirt. That, that was nice of him. <laughs> Let's show Isabel our encyclopedia with all of our new fish that we've caught. Yes, the fishing is going great. Check my encyclopedia, please. Yes, I'm catching all the fish. You'll find different fish depending on the place, season, or time of day. That just means there's a lot to do all year long and new fish to find as you live here. Hope you have fun catching bugs with the net in the same way as you enjoy catching fish. I think that's about all the advice I can give you. I'd like to give you a small present, but it looks like you're carrying so much stuff at the moment you can't take it with you. I'm sure there's something you've, it's something you'd find useful. Okay, well let me just throw something in my letters real quick. Um, I'll throw the screen up here, because I think it is a watering can. And I do really need a watering can. Advice for living here. That reminds me, do you remember me telling you about a prison I was planning to give you? Looks like I can give it to you now, so here you go. Yes, we got a watering can! I've never been so excited to get a watering can in my entire life. If you give water to flowers, you see, even wilted ones will be happy and perk up again the next day. If you take good care of flowers and give them water, sometimes a new flower will bloom. Sometimes one will even bloom in a rare color. I don't know if you have an interest in gardening, but I really hope you'll use that watering can. Also, I know there are still many more things for you to learn and discover about living in this town. Just think about the advice I've given you so far and enjoy living the life you most want. I'm sure you'll figure out a lot on your own while you go about your days enjoying our town. I'll continue to be here to support you to the best of my ability. I hope I can help you for many more years to come. Oh, what a cutie pie. Oh, she's the most adorable thing ever. All right, so let's go water some flowers, get a few more points, um, and then I will have earned full citizen satisfaction. Yes, flowers drink up, and I will be able to do my mare things. I'm just gonna, oops. I'm gonna water these both right now. I am, now that I have the watering can, once I get all my flowers not wilted, um, I am going to um, move them all to the beach and set up a little like gardening area, a garden, I suppose, um, to breed flowers so that I can get some nice, pretty ones. I'll just water all the ones in this area, and it gives me a percentage point for each water- each water I flower, each flower I water. So I will definitely have the full 100%. Alright, let's go! I'm so excited. I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, it's probably a little long, but that's okay, because we're getting a lot done. <laughs> Alright, Isabel, tell me about that 100%. Miss Mare. Yes. Tell me things. Yes. 
Wait a minute. According to a recent citizen survey, your approval rating is 100%. Wow. Mayor Misha, you've done it. I'll submit your application for the town development permit right away. The approval process will take one day at the very least, but it could take up to a few days. If you could come by and check on its approval status from time to time, I'd really appreciate it. All right. So we got the development permit. It is underway. All right, I've got two fossils in my pocket. I've got a lot of things to donate, so let's just go ahead and I'll go to the museum and then I'll call it a day. I'll probably play a little on my own to make a little bit of money, um, but then I'll be back to record a new video tomorrow. And we can do things as mayor and act an ordinance and fun stuff like that. I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. I might do the beautiful or I might do the bell boom since I'll be making money legitimately for the first time in uh, a while so I'm gonna I'm gonna need the help you know but I'll definitely be doing the uh, the like catching rare bugs on the island as soon as I get the island that will be my primary means of making money and I will demonstrate that in a video for everybody to show everyone how to make the most money legitimately without, you know, hacking and uh, filling your bank account without actually doing any work. This is an actual legitimate way to make money and it is time consuming, um, but it is, I think, the most efficient way of making money in Animal Crossing. So both of those fossils were rare ones not yet found in the collection. Oh my goodness, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but there's like thunder and stuff happening outside. Hopefully you can't hear that. I'm sorry if it's making a ruckus. Okay, we're gonna make some donations. We're gonna donate. Oh, the mammoth torso, sweet. Stego torso, and all of these fish, and the tiger butterfly. Several things, yes. We will gladly take these off your hands. No need for you to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. We, too, we pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Of course. Nothing more today. Alright. Well, that is it for this episode. We have been so productive. We helped out some citizens of Kodama. We completed our um, application for our development permit by getting a 100% citizen satisfaction. Caught some new fish and some new bugs and just had an all-around good day i think thank you all so much for watching if you want to follow me on social media i've got all of those uh, links in the description box you all have a wonderful day be kind to of one another and don't forget to be awesome bye